Um, it's uh, t trying to make it like very, very top quality, high class. I like to say the Gucci and Louis Vuitton of cannabis. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like just on that level, you know what I'm saying? Like very, very potent. And uh, uh, that's that's one of the things. Um, my biggest project that I'm working on right now, I'm in the process of purchasing my my, my old um, my elementary school. Dope. It was um it was torn down. It was torn down several years ago, but what I'm 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 trying to purchase the property and I'm trying to erect an Ohio uh arts museum for all the artists that made it out of Ohio so okay. that the young so, so that the young people could go visit there and see how many people actually made it up out of Ohio that nobody knows about. A lot of big names come from Ohio and give them the encouragement and give them the hope that they could they could travel that same path. Academy to where we're going to teach, you know, the ins and out of the music industry, you know, uh, give them real knowledge and equip them to go into the music industry, knowing exactly what they're doing, teaching people how to become studio engineers, as well as, as well as just basic life skills. And we're also going to have a recreation center attached to that as well. So, that's my big, biggest project. I've been working a lot with the mayor of Cleveland and the councilman, and we got a got a lot of support with them, man. So that's that's coming along very, very well right now. When is that set to drop? That, that's huge, right there. That's major. Yes, uh, hopefully, hope well, well, we were looking, we were looking to have everything up and done by 2022 because you know the um, All Star Weekend was supposed. Uh, um, NBA All-Star Weekend was supposed to be in Cleveland and I had the NBA set to come and be down there at the grand opening and everything, but the COVID, this whole COVID-19 just came and pushed everything back. So now we basically just just um just uh just reassessing everything. Everything is still in motion and we just doing all the groundwork now. So when we're ready to go and start building, we can just move and just go forward with everything right now. And uh, and, and also involved is my it's my nonprofit organization, Spread the Love Foundation. And okay. it's a foundation basically focused on uh, uh, um, abused kids and to teach young boys how to grow up and be men. You know what I'm saying? How to, how, 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 how to grow up and be men and carry themselves as men. You know what I'm saying? As black men and not niggas. Real talk. You feel me? Absolutely. Yes, how, how much, how important was it to receive the support? in the community from the mayor from council people and did you receive any backlash from that because you a black man walking into a community we see and hear everything about the struggles but i tend to tell people look you got an 800 credit score you got this you got that it's not many things that's going to be able to hold you back but can you just talk about your journey through um gaining getting to where you are now with the school Can you hear us? Uh, can, can you repeat something? Because it was going in and out. I really didn't hear a lot of what you said. Yeah, no, 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 no problem. I was talking about the support that you had to receive from. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just going in and out. Yeah, I can get it out. Okay. Um, did you receive any with any backlash or anything? Because we hear a lot of stigmas, especially as black men, and it's not easy for us to go out here and do certain things and and achieve certain goals. So, what was the the, the steps that you had to take? And did you receive any hurdles along the way in opening the school or or going to open the school? Well, 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 man. Th thankfully, and, and and it's a blessing that our, our hometown has always stood behind us, one thousand oh. percent. You know what I'm saying? They 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 have always stood behind anything we've done. You know the um the people in you know the 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 uh the people in power there. You know what I'm saying? They 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 actually took this. They they met us with open arms, and you know I think we. whole facelift, you know what I'm saying, and a whole facelift to to um, upgrading the communities and just doing different things in the urban areas. And I think the plan that I had coincided with what they were already doing. Mm. And, you know, it's just, it was just a match made in heaven because we had the same ideas and the same visions 
to bring things to the neighborhood that would benefit the residents of, you know, that, that, that live there and that would give them jobs because, you know, um, so they, 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 once I laid out the plan to them, every, everybody was like, everything has ran smooth up to this point, knock on wood, yeah. because I've been telling my team, I'm like, yo, I thought this was going to be much, much harder than it was. Wow. And we, 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 we still probably have some obstacles to cross as we get further down the line, you know, but by the way things is going, you know, I, I'm, 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 it's looking like everybody is already backing us to this point. So that's a good sign. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's dope, man. Um, there's a lot. Chamillionaire. Are, are, do you still keep in contact with him by any chance? Yes, indeed. I just spoke with my brother, uh, like two days ago. Could you talk about him, um, and his, you know, business success that he's having? You guys kind of like, man, you know, yeah, man. yeah, yeah, man. This, 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 that, that's one smart young brother, I must say. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a prime example of recognizing that it, that it don't last forever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he, he took action upon that before it was too late, you know? And that's what people have to realize because you, you see people come in the game all the time and they, they so, they so caught up in they, they so caught up in they wave and they wave at the time they end up drowning in it. You know what I'm saying? And they, and, and they can't come back from it. And any other venture that they wanted to do, ain't nobody really taking them serious no more. You know what I'm saying? So it's very important to be able to recognize that man and just know when you have to make other moves in your career to make sure you sustain your livelihood for you, for you, for you yourself, your 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 name and your family. And for you, real. you got? Did you win? Did you win a Grammy? Oh no. Yes, yes. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I won. Yes, yeah, one. Yes. That's right. For riding dirty, right? I think it was. Yes, indeed. Dope. How was that experience? If you elaborate on that. Man, man, it's crazy because I tell everybody when I done the song, I did not know this song was going to even like. I didn't even think the song was even going to come out, man, because you, I was I was down in Houston. there doing some work with them and uh, they got at me. It was like, yo, is this is is this new cat coming out of Houston? <clears throat> Trying to get you back here in a second. Studio. Oh, go ahead. Can you can you repeat that? Okay. Kind of went out for a second. Okay. Uh, uh, I said I went down to Houston. Mm -hmm. What's the last part y'all heard? That, that was the last part. You good? Oh, okay, okay. Went down to Houston, and I was doing some work with Playing Skills because they the ones produced the record. So I was doing something with them, and they told me they was like, "It's this cat that's like really blowing up, catching the buzz out in Houston." It's uh, um. His name is Kaminga there, and he a big Bone fan. So, and it was like he wanted to do a he want he he wanted to do a verse on this song. So I was like, cool. You know, went to the studio. I didn't even think the song was gonna come out. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I didn't think the song was ever gonna come out. So I went and done the song just on the strength of playing skills. I went and done my verse, and it was nothing on the song but just my verse and the hook. And then uh. A few weeks later, after the song was mixed and they put it out, they was like, they called me and was like, yo, uh, this song was on the radio. It's going crazy out here. We thinking about shooting a video. So I was like, okay, cool. Let me know. The next thing I know, the song is on the radio everywhere, like hitting number one mm -hmm. everywhere. So they called me like, let's do the video. I came and done the video. And then we did, after the video, like a few weeks of, uh, or a month or two after that, they, they called me.